Hello everybody, welcome to AeroBB quarterfinal, uh, my quarterfinal versus PK83. We're going to do this live, I'm going to get out of the booth um, very shortly, leave you with Fimea to do the commentary, but before I go, let's just have a look at the teams. Uh, PK has got a guard, tackle, fleshy, that's how rude is that taking tackle on the fleshy. Um, moving up strength up wolf that I can't deal with because I don't have strength for anymore. Uh, Blood step wolf with movement nine. Tackle mighty white, but he's only move five. A uh, couple of decent ghouls and a block guard zombie three rerolls. And uh, my team has a big gaping hole where the witch elf used to be, <laughs> but uh, it's still decent, right? It's still got five guard. Uh, still has loads of dodge and uh, it has the edge five and the pommer and a move eight. So there's an outside chance of a one turn. Um, but yeah, and, and unfortunately, like I think I'm maybe biased with like my view of the team due to losing the Witch Elf. I think that has coloured my perception of my chances, so I maybe I'm a bit too down in the dumps. So I'm sure Fimir will be uh, fantastic and enthusiastic, and thank you for stepping in, Fimir. See you on the other side. Hello, everybody. Here we are in the quarterfinals of the Irish BB League, and I am alone in the booth, not like with these other new games that uh, Jimmy has new friends to cast uh, in other lands. So, Necro versus Dark Elves. I think a lot is going to come to who gets the more cast between the tackle pomber of uh, Jimmy versus the Wolves. And giving a tackle to a flesh golem, that's that's not very common. People usually get uh, they give them mighty blow before uh, that. But we'll see, we'll see what goes here. It's taken a while, this isn't it? I feel like we've been waiting ten years. I wonder if it's like how dying. Yeah, I wonder if it is dying. Yeah, this has been a long time. It's maybe because you already have the VPN set on Montpellier. <laughs> yep, yep. I, I'm using the Hon 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 VPN. <laughs> Pim Pam Blue uh, <laughs> ISP. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Okay. All right, here we go. Right. Thanks. Been fantastic. And he goes there and there, then. I actually didn't think about which one I want to do. <laughs> Fuck me. And now, here we go. Set up for the undead. Mm -hmm. 
There is not much uh, mighty blow in the PK83 uh, team. I see only one. That's uh, very interesting. And jump up on the ghoul. And uh, no dirty player. OP83. Being a true gentleman. And obviously the inducement is a wizard. Yeah, yeah, probably have uh, PK i I've seen the other games of Jimmy. I know that every block is going to be a death elf. But this could be a blitz for uh, Jimmy. Oh, kick of return. No, the undead get the, the necros get another error. Oh, double pow in the first uh, roll. Not dead. There is the go, the first uh, card. It's a death player. There you go, no need for a uh, mighty blow. Now, well, who's he going to blitz? Because. Uh, there is only two tacklers, and one of them is uh, the Fleshy, and the other is the Ghoul, and both of them uh, the Ghoul, the, the White, and both of them have already. And so, no, doesn't it seem like there is going to be a Blitz here. Maybe with the Zombies? No blitz. I think Jimmy's blitz is going to be the that a zombie without the skills or anything. Doesn't pile on, amateur. Absolutely hilarious how uh, Necro teams are, you know that he only has three zombies on the pitch. Everything else are uh, positional. And you think it is easy. I don't think you wanna 
Yeah, Magic Carp. Yeah, yeah, absolutely great. I don't think we're gonna see much uh, action. Going with the tackle of the mighty blow. Is the pow instant full pow? Nothing. Okay. I think this is way too conservative. He could at least move his pieces one square ahead. I mean, he has the whole space to move, you know, at least advance one square. And Jimmy's gonna repeat the same operation. Oh no, this time doesn't even bother with the mighty blow. Now it's Jimmy the one that advances the uh, one square. What the hell is this? Now Jimmy has made the things more complicated for the Necros to try to hit the... The guards, but now he can go... Get the POW and the strength 4 guard dodge. Absolutely nothing. Ah, so was armor seven, so there was a good chance of getting something there. And now there is some degree of uh, base in there. Trying to move a little to the left side of the pitch. And now the... Trying to cover all the spots because he knows that there is a... A leap around. A G5 leap. Now, the problem with uh, the setup is that the, if Jimmy fancies it, he has a chain uh, possibility. Now it's not going to happen. Or then you go wrestle doing a thing. Never pylon. I'm get, maybe if he had broke armor there, maybe he would have uh, maybe considered, you know, uh, using pylon. Yeah, 
Jimmy not offering many uh, free hits. Except the strength uh, for uh, Dodge Armor 7 that can could be hit again. The Pau, the San Miguel Lino, nothing. Big Chichi survives another day. Which for those that don't know, eh, Chichi is also a, a, a slang word in Spanish to refer to the lady bits of a lady. I'm just, you know, dropping this here. Now, uh, PK83 needs to be careful because there's a chance that half of his team gets isolated. AK Forge. Yeah, yeah, PTK, yeah. Blood Bowl uh, 2 on the Irish uh, Blood Bowl uh, League, the Irish uh, Blood Bowl uh, League. Well, now it's a worldwide uh, league. I, uh, Ireland is the new uh, Wells. Next turn is gonna be turn five for the Necros. They are gonna have to start pondering the idea of doing something. To the on the fleshy or oh, stand firm. Stand firm again. And Pau. Absolute disgrace. Coaches more closing at midnight. So at midnight, I think, is when uh, the death and the end gets released, the last volume of the whole heresy. Oh, big Chichi gets injured. And dead. Two deaths to the players. Uh, Jimmy reducing uh, the TV of his team to get the inducements for the next stages if he wins. Oh my god. There's a huge mid coop there. 
He's going for the 1D. He's thinking about the 1D with the blockless uh, zombie. He decides not to. And now the cycle begins again. There's the push, follow, and now he's gonna try with the wrestle. That the. Uh... Oh my god, doing the lost job that Flexi Golem, winning the game all by himself. It's a block, less block. Oh, but it's the power. <laughs> and the armor wreck. And the cast. And no regen. Jesus. What a roll. Armor 12, injury 11. There you go. Well rolled. That's the level of expertise that you can expect from an official uh, caster from the CNI. There you go, two more SPP for the... the Dodge guard strength for peace. Maybe one of these days can get blocked. Now I think the Necros have the clear target of the tackle hit on the side stepper. Jimmy clenching his Wudox. Uh, Here's the pow. Choose the square where to die. No. That uh, complicates uh, things. But he can use the wolves to protect the cage and the white. The question, a foul with whom? He hasn't uh, any bribes, so... Lack of players because uh, the fleshy before uh, getting injured uh, was able to hold four players for uh, two turns. You're gonna make the next turn very interesting. Oh, that dodge, sticky dodge, reroll makes it. Exactly, he got his car, so yeah, he was too invested. Oh, hit on the wall. Here's the pow. 
Dice. Ah, dice a Clear Piling on, and here we go. Oh, and it's another cast. Another re fail regen. There you go. Dice Lord de Jimmy Fantastic confirmed. And with that movement, Jimmy could have managed to stop the score. Now the Necro is going to be 11 players for the next uh, half. But, you know, changing a fleshy mana <laughs> work for two zombies, not very good. Oh, and that's two side steppers and a wall of guard. But things can be done. camera nobody knows why or maybe it's having a stroke okay that's that's not what I would have done That's a thing. But Jimmy covers the, the square. There is just too much guard. Jimmy playing with the buttons. He's having an Artemis moment here. Well, no rerolls available for the Necro. Still turn seven. He's, uh, he doesn't need to score. Uh... Oh, yes, exactly the result that he needed. And he's going to score, yes. Gives a oh gets a level. <laughs> oh, 
Two times for Jimmy. Not what I'd have done, but who can say if it was good or bad to sidestep to that square? Fuck's sake. <laughs> Never mind. Well, um... I'd literally thought about before, I was like, oh, I'll sidestep diagonally down, and then just didn't. Fuck me. Yeah, you can, K-Frog. That was fucking terrible. Oh, my God. I just went... I said, oh, this will be good. Then he hits when he pushes me on the next hit, and then obviously the one in nine, the one in, well, they're both down. What a fucking idiot. I should have, that could have been one up to me, but I can still make it 1-1 one, one now anyway. I can still make it 1-1. One, one. Fuck's sake. And, you know, still removed the fleshy and the wolf, so... Yeah, and still, st can still make it 1-1. One, one. Happy New Year, Yuri Styles. Yeah, no, I mean, I, I, was, I, was, I was looking at my, uh, my wrestler thinking I was going to end the half 1-0. <laughs> Fuck. Fuck. Make a cup of coffee meanwhile this thing uh, continues.
Ahí. Ok, I'm back. Yes, Chivite, you are right. But I think uh, Jimmy has discovered. And I have my coffee. the cheeky KO, a random uh, zombie but if it doesn't come back that's the the necros with 10 and not only that i'm so having a bagel with the jump Poglar, one of the top players of uh, Jimmy's team. Yeah. Hey, he fog. Careful. Jimmy using uh, one of his five rolls finally. Complicated uh, situation here for PK eighty three. Hey, Marvin, I think uh, Jim is uh, looking more for a. Uh, Two plus pass and then hand off. That was half an hour ago, K Fog. And now Jimmy counting the square for the handoff.
I don't think uh, he will use the wizard. The wizard. He can uh, keep uh, the wizard for the second half. Oh, oh, this is a guaranteed pylon. Nothing. I think he can make the pass uh, to plus. Now he can go there, hand off. <laughs> fails, Poglar fails. And now there are no rerolls. Two plus, two plus, two plus. Oh, there you go. File the first DFI. Absolute disassembles. Okay, now Jimmy has a very complicated uh, offense because his uh, opponent has a wizard. And here we go to the second half. The zombie didn't came back, so that's the necro with 10 players. Uh, Fluffy Burrito, yes. Got a graphics update. Now is easier to watch. Blue Ball 3. Now, it's good. It's still not there. But it's better than uh, what it used to be. But now that uh, Jimmy is traveling to Montpellier to Cocas with Andy Davo and uh, Adam Savage. The finals of the tournament. Uh, I'm pretty sure he will be able to provide the detail uh, insights. This looks like uh, what uh, some people call Adaka, but it's like a lot of investment they have into Is Adaka? Or is going to a ultra quick score, but who's going to pick up the ball? Both teams, extra roll, fans are, you know, absolutely focused on this game. Blitz. Yeah. I am a Spanish, but I live in Scotland.
Okay, here we go. These Sadaka guys, you know what's going to be for the next five times, at least. So you have to do the laundry or uh, get your online shopping or something like that. You can do it, no problem. And Jimmy doesn't pick up the ball with the ball carrier because there is a wizard involved in the equation. So, who's going to be the... Oh. No vanity pass. Pua. Pua. Terrible. Funny enough, I know a lot of people from Latvia. None of them play blue ball. Okay. So this is how it's gonna be. Anyone, anyone have seen anything interesting on the telly recently? Ay, ay, the kitten. And my kitten is clean with my leg. What? Oh, he wants to play. Well, I'm pretty sure Jimmy knows what to do in this kind of uh, scenarios. He has, he has been facing them uh, since day one. And he's going to advance quickly. So this is going to be a short Daka. Come here, you little fella. Chip in. So, was this a fake DACA? Is Jimmy faking his DACA now? Is that, that, that's the level. Uh... Oh, there's the chain. Yeah, that the uh, right side was uh, particularly weak. Yeah, exactly. That's, uh, this is the kind of uh, thing that you don't expect because if Jimmy does hate anything in Blood Bowl, he's doing anything. So having to start doing things, turn. Nine, ten, ten, sorry. Oh, good day, Nick. Not the streaming blood ball anymore. In any shape or form. the pow and the witch survives that's not that's a very uncommon uh, thing to see
Now, more or less, PK3 has been able to re redeploy his team. Now Jimmy needs to be extra careful because there is a wizard involved in this uh, equation. Okay, I'm gonna get one of the toys for the cat. Oh, the diving tackle piece is going to do something. It's blitzing. Yeah. Okay, this makes the wizard uh, very complicated. And now... Oh. Nothing seems to be working for the Negro, but they're still managing to keep more or less a defensive line. But turn by turn, Jimmy's getting squares. This is a quarter final, so this could go to overtime.
Do we need to put uh, some pieces at the front? Oh, block, less block. But there is no need for the block, less block. Yet. Gags on dodges with dodge. That's one in thirty six. And he's not gonna block, he's just gonna cover his back. And this is a tour where everything went the. Uh, Perfectly for Jimmy. Well roll. K to three clicking in a lot of players. Oh with the goal. Comes the blitz with tackle and mighty blow. One GFI works, gets the pow. Pogler in danger. Pogler is out. Out of the action. Just like in his uh, honeymoon. And unless something happens, I agree with the idea that that ghoul is getting uh, punched in the face very, very badly. Oh, one GFI. Maybe another. I mean, doesn't change much in the you know piling on on the ghoul or maybe he's not piling on on the ghoul okay that's freeze the bomber oh he's going for the tackle piece or the mighty blow piece trying to get rid of the last and only Mighty blow of the Necro one. Dead. Dead. And failed regen and the casualties are 68. And the regen fails with a one. There you go. Maximum casualty that you can achieve with maximum death. dead, dead, dead. And that leaves no tacklers, as far as I can see, for the one tackler left, the ghoul. Oh, 
Oh, Jimmy cutting corners. Like a fast food uh, franchise. Things are looking very green for PK-383, mostly because uh, one of his best pieces are dead. Yes, from the Necro point of view, Regen hasn't been very good. But if you look at the other side of the pitch for Jimmy, uh, Jimmy will say that Regen has been a fantastic skill. So it's a 50-50, just like uh, Regen. Oh my god. Who's gonna get punched in the face as retaliation? To nothing. What a disaster. At least now, more or less, that ghoul is a little protected. Oh, fishing for for pause there. That block uh, was really risky there. Now uh, Jimmy pondering who to hit now. It is an easy hit on the... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Zombies, zombies always reason. A blockless block. Big dodge. Has Jimmy failed any dodge? And here comes the serve. First block works. Second one chooses the power for stall points. Nothing. GFI. Set the frenzy trap in case the the wolf gets ideas. 
Wow, Jimmy just going a uh, Nazi rolling three pluses. Uh, it was bound to happen, it was bound to happen. He can complain there was a lot of dodges this game that worked perfectly. One in fifty six happens. Oh, oh Steve Mott is dead. <laughs> Oh, and he's dead. Apo fails. I mean, Apo saves him, but fails. I thought Iran has a very good healthcare system, but clearly, clearly this league is a... Uh, uh, some kind of healthcare from the 18th century. That's the third player uh, dead for uh, Jimmy. Very bad regen from the elves, very bad regen from the necros. Now the wizard, the wizard, you know, was very good wizard, was a very good wizard. Yes, this is overtime format. This is the quarterfinals. So whoever is playing any of these two in the semifinals must be a very happy chap. Maybe we, when Jimmy, you know, visits the CNI offices in Montpellier, he can ask them, you know, to modify the file servers to give him back his players. Wow. I think PK83 is not particularly interested in, uh, in the semifinals. Well, the ones that are not very interested in playing the semi-final are his players that are dying all over the place. Okay, the wizard is gone, so now he's gonna come to the pickup. IG5, sure hands. 
two plus because he can blitz one of the But he's not going to. Sure hands. Ooh, Pops Dodge. Yes, uh, guys, if you want to join this competition tonight at midnight. <laughs> I mean, tonight midnight. On a stream time, not YouTube time. If you're watching this in YouTube, it's too late. You miss your chance, you pleb. Turn 15 for the Necros. This is looking like overtime. Well, uh, you'll be surprised, but uh, I think the games are scheduled more or less based in the time zone of Ireland or whatever Irish Standard Time or UTC. Dublin uh, time. But Thomas needs, if you are here, you can play. We know you, you live in Canada, but you are here all the time anyway. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's, that's a bad time zone because it's when I'm spending five hours watching the streams of Jimmy. Jimmy once again, so when I say yes, Jimmy, your team, is, your team is dead. Not completely dead, is that a slow, agonizing, a slow, painful death of players, losing players one or two per game. Whoa! Where do you go, lads? Oh, gets the power! Instant pull on the reroll. But now what? Oh, there is a ghoul. There is a ghoul. Now Jimmy can one in 36, you know, the pick up. Pops Dodge. He can, is a one in 36, the pick up or the dodge. And that's it. Yeah, Jimmy is uh, counting and all that. And to get a blitz with 2D, he needs to do a dodge with dodge. So it's the same that dodge in a way to pick up the ball. This is a pylon, guaranteed. All is done. And here we go. And it's 
Overtime. Jimmy has five errors for overtime. Meanwhile, PK83 has only one, so... Yeah, but Jimmy hasn't put any of his side steppers on the... on the OS. I don't think he has enough side steppers anymore, anyway. He has one, two. I miss the. I miss it. They remove the. Yes, he has two side steppers. He has the players, he has the movement. That wolf can make it happen. Jimmy doesn't have enough tackle to put tackle on every square, which everybody knows is the top uh, strat. And here we go. The one turn attempt. I'm pretty sure PTK has already decided seven ways of doing it. Oh, and gets a reroll for the overtime. Oh, and now. Wait. Vogler once again. Uh... I I don't think we are uh, seeing a. Maybe he doesn't know how to do one dance. Gonna foul. He's thinking that guard dodge piece, juicy foul. Maximum impact. Will we see another dead? Hundred percent foul. Oh. 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 Wow. 
One one overtime. Fowler comes back. And now the big one. And Jimmy defends. So with a movement nine wolf, this could be very complicated. Also, Jimmy doesn't have a full team. Two, four, six, eight elves. Yes. Oh dear, oh dear, this could be the end of the IRBB saga for Jimmy Fantastic this season. Oh, very sad. If only I could have rolled like three two pluses in a row. But, um, you know, if I'd sized it with the right square, I could have won one nil, couldn't I? So it's, there's, there's, there is that if I'd done the correct sidestep. Never mind. Um, yeah. This is looking... And so you are also demolished his team, so... Yeah, like, you know, obviously four Kaz is unlucky, uh, but he kept hitting Armour 7 with Mighty Blow, doing nothing, and obviously I got super lucky removing his, but I just sized up the wrong square. So, can't even complain about dice. Yeah, and obviously if I'd won the toss, I won, but never mind. It was funny the moment of sheer panic after I didn't stop the one turn <laughs> and then relief when he didn't go for it. <laughs> it was pretty funny. Oh, there could be a blitz here. Oh my god, call it it. I call it, I call it, I am the best, uh, the best of the best. You won't see commentators like this anywhere else. There you go, someone in Montpellier has pushed, has pushed some buttons there. Huh? Five rolls. Is Jimmy thinking about using one of them? He shits the bed. You won't see any of this on the Blue Ball 3 Discord. Also, for those that don't uh, remember, this is a uh... oh, leaping and everything, and leap works. Oh, wow. Wow. Whoever scores wins. This is the overtime in Blood Bowl Two. But they were absolutely rock hard today, and so was my cock. And pick up the ball with a strength of four. Streamer gets saved by dice. Yes. <laughs> that was uh that was pretty okay, wasn't it? <laughs> pretty okay.
Sad that my apple failed. I, mean, I am sad that the apple failed and Steve died. Movement eight sidestep, but there goes my like one turn chance, doesn't it? Which is, which is pretty tragic. Yep. But... And don't forget the other two guys that also died. <laughs> did these guys die? I, I don't even look. Oh yeah, they did die, didn't they? Yeah. Um, niggled. Minus movement. Leader. I didn't even <laughs> notice those guys. He was badly hurt. And obviously he died. So yeah, three deaths essentially. Brilliant. <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> Fantastic amount of death there. He didn't go for the one turn. I think that was the, the big, big mistake. Yeah. Yeah, 100%. Gotta go for the one turn there. Got to. Like, you've, got to you've got to know how to one turn with move nine sidestep and you've got to go for it. At the end of the day... Like top division one EP K eighty three. That's a pretty that's a pretty wild non one turn attempt. Hey. Hmm. I was thinking about, do I want to be pushed into range? But no, obviously I just want them to skull. <laughs> he could skull. Alright, I'll back to thinking. Yeah, there you go, back to your thinking. Well, you should... Uh... Bring the subject to Keol and G, which is the one of the big voices of the IRBB. You know, you can uh, tell him what, what kind of uh, competition is this. He only has two side steps available, it, so it was pointless. Well, not completely pointless, but not worth the risk of those players dying. He had three at the beginning of the game. But Steve Motti decided to die. Yeah, I think I think that was the rule, but uh, the, the rule exists, but uh, nobody uses it. I wonder why. Gets the ball, and that's more or less it's a pass without a throw, without using the the passing skill, using just agility. A passless pass in this economy.
I mean, I passed out the whole route Saturday because I had dodge, <laughs> and then so like, and then I'm I'm definitely gonna pass. So there wasn't there wasn't really much I could do, right? <laughs> I passed out a move that I have dodge for and a pass that I can't not try to catch. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah sad that i'm not in sad that i'm not in range but like no i mean i'm in range but not properly in range right forgot to declare pass well that's why i passed out you see i'm used i'm used to having to declare the whole i'm, I'm used to having to pass the whole thing out <laughs> to declare my pass <laughs> hello lupak hello lupak oh Team Navy and Racer, you have to start all over again. I have, I have, I did do it. My, my team name, I might change it. I can't remember what it was. It was something like Dead Witch, you know, something Dead Witch related. And then, uh, you know, if anyone's got a good idea for uh, for a team name to do with Dead Witches. <laughs> the, the, the Dead Witch Project. <laughs> oh my God, that's brilliant. It might not, the problem was, well, I didn't know if it would, uh, if it would fit. Do you know what I mean? Like in the... Uh, in the uh, like the amount of characters, like Ding Dong the Witch is Led Dead is a lot of a lot of characters, right? So I thought maybe he's just Ding Dong, but oh my god, he's going to die in the last pointless hit of the game, isn't he? Yeah. No. Nope. Which project is a? Uh... The Dead Witch project's pretty good, yeah. Flip me. Wee! Oh my god, David Dagen! <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> So these can all one in 36 off, can't they? And should be all right. Exactly, exactly. I am the, I am the booth because I was the only one available, not for nothing. <laughs> I've been carrying this thing for years. Just to see Jimmy abandon me to go to Montpellier with Andy Davo. <laughs> Sorry, Fime. <here. laughs> I should have started spreading rumors like, the, you know, they ask me first, but I say no. Which they didn't, by the way. The question is how many people have said no to go to Montpellier so the list reached Jimmy Fantastic. Jesus Christ. That is a good question. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. I mean... Nah, Jimmy, I'm pretty sure you were first choice. <laughs> uh, I'm pretty sure I wasn't first choice, but uh, at least I was a choice at some point. <laughs> yes, yes. No, 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 yes. Uh, for the finals, they are going to uh, Andy Davo and uh, Jimmy Fantastic are traveling to Montpellier to stream their the final games with uh, Adam Savage, a famous eSport uh, journalist and commentator. Yep. Yeah, no, it's it's not a wind up, no. That's it. Well, no, no, it's real, it's real, it's real. I, I don't know if it's cyanide. It might, I think it's like you know. I think the the esports company covering it are based in Montpellier, so I think it's I think it's them rather than cyanide or. Nacon. Nacon is how the French say it. We found out. <laughs> we were sitting there. We, oh, yes. we were like we didn't know if it was Nacon, Nacon. Um, and it's knack on. There you go. Well, I mean. Now, uh, the I'm question is obviously, it. it's obvious that uh, uh, what this company is doing at some point, they have to ask for approval from knack <laughs> So, someone has to say yes to Jimmy Fantastic. 
<laughs> yeah, amazing, right? Amazing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And once again, Artemis gets eliminated in round one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's amazing that it, it can't be it can't be Div or and Art eliminated in round one. At least one of them won't be eliminated in round yeah. one. <laughs> Now what happens if Andy Davo, you know, has to play the final? I know, yeah. There might be a lot of me in the booth <laughs> and no Davo. <laughs> uh, exactly. Yeah, okay. I hope the guy does it. I've always liked that fella. <laughs> nope, here we go. Oh, diving tackle again. Oh, oh failed. <laughs> When I saw the animation, I just thought it had worked. I don't know why. <laughs> why? Yeah, why head to toe, Dwyer? <laughs> what the hell? What's, what's wrong with you? <laughs> I always found that very... You know, like... Head to toe, you know, it's like a, a childish thing to do. Yeah. Oh. Also, I'm pretty sure uh, the people of Nakon have, uh, or the company doing the, the event have a few cardboard boxes so Jimmy can sleep on the streets yes yeah that's what that's what I'm doing yeah I'm going for the streets the street sleeping the streets of Montpellier. <sighs> flip me I thought I'd lost it then with that that sidestep I thought like you know I was defending and I was maybe ending one nil up and then I just bloody did the wrong I just I just zoned out just for a second and then just did a wrong sidestep it's so annoying how like I literally thought don't fuck up the sidestep and I thought exactly where to sidestep, and then fucked up the sidestep anyway. Jesus Christ. <laughs> well, the worst things you can do is sidestep the wrong square. Uh, and it's a bit harder in Blood Bowl 2, right? Because you only get the 30 second chunk. So I was using the time to make sure I sidestep to the right square. I was like, right, I'm definitely going to sidestep the right square. So I literally thought about it before the countdown started. So I knew exactly where to sidestep. And then when he didn't knock me over, I just, I just, I just, I just the dice have you and in the end, yeah, yeah. I mean, they also let me down on the counter score. Let's be fair, right? They let me down on the counter score with the uh, like run the few twos. But yeah, I got like he was obviously much more likely to make four cars than I was to make three cars, no regens. So I got way luckier on the cars. Uh, he was um, blitzing on the seven the booth, constantly. I want to say to Dubier, there must be new in this chat or something like that. Would you like to have your head next to Jim's toes? <laughs> That's why you don't sleep head to toes. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Thank you. Very good point, Fimir and uh Yes, also I call the blitz, I call the blitz, you know, as always my top uh, commentator skills, you know. Well, thank you very much. <laughs> you oh, called yeah. it in for me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Someone, you know, has to make it just very obvious that the game was rigged. Yeah, thank you so much. It really helps. It really helps having a rigged game. So yeah, thank you so much, family. Thank you for the commentary. <laughs> okay. See you later, guys. See you. Oh, cheers. And uh, yep, that's family done. And phew, that sidestep nearly killed me, didn't it? That sidestep nearly killed me. But uh, and you know, even then, like I was, I was looking at my wrestler, thinking, you know, I can roll some twos and get away, get out of this one nil up on his drive, and then. And then uh, and all of a sudden I've done the wrong sidestep and he scored. And, uh, and, you know, it still could have been 1-1. One, one. It still could have been 1-1 one, one pretty easily, right? It was just some twos. That fucking flesh goal that I couldn't knock over ever. I'm like, I'm like as soon as I knock him over the first hit, the other two dodge off. Because I, I want to I wanna knock him over to, like, you know, keep him out for the whole game. And maybe I should have gone the turn before because by the time I did power him... Like even though he, you know, he got cars. By the time I powered him, it was already too late, wasn't it? Uh, it wasn't actually too late because I nearly stopped him in the end. If I'd sized up, but maybe I should have gone a turn earlier. But uh, 
Satatol MVP, yeah, and obviously super lucky on the blitz at the end. But, you know, obviously super unlucky to lose the toss as well. Not super unlucky, 50-50. So very lucky to go the blitz after losing the toss. Uh, obviously, if I'd won the toss, I've got five re-rolls. Uh, yeah. It's not the same as Blood Bowl 2, though, is it? It's not the same as Blood Bowl 3, so maybe I should have used some re-rolls. But I didn't really fail anything. The problem is I wasn't really failing anything to, to, to use my re-rolls on, right? Because, like, I was not rolling pals, but then I'm like, well... I don't want to re-roll this and then fail my leap later. So, like, there wasn't anything that I really wanted to use a re-roll on. But, and then, obviously, I thought, well, in the second half, I thought, well, that's okay for Kekwiti if that somehow happens. Down at 17.40. Fuck me. Just smashed to bits every game. Nine players. Maybe, well, ten. Ten, I can buy a player. Yeah. So, yeah, no turnover fails. So, yeah, I mean, just... It'd be alright if I had a strength four. <laughs> if I had a strength four wrestle tackle witch. <laughs> I'm gonna get bodied. I'm gonna get absolutely fucking bodied against a monster necro team in the in the semi. But um I guess maybe I'll have a wizard and then that could help, you know. Wizard movement five could just win the game, I guess. Um so yeah, maybe, maybe we'll see. We'll see you play. I think I, I, they'll have finished, if not now, then soon. No spoilers, please in chat, if anybody knows. Um so, yeah, so that does get me through the semi, and it'll be against Galabranth or Papa Bao. Both of them have Necro. Both of them likely to do four Kaz and slaughter my team. So that's fun. Um, but yeah, very you know, pretty pretty lucky in the end, right? Lucky with a Kaz and lucky with a Blitz, but then unlucky with the attempted score and the like. How brutal it was with like three missed next games and. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I didn't think it was that one side. I did did roll pretty well on the dice, uh, on the dodges. I think I did pretty, pretty good dodges. Um, made some one in nines. Yeah, really good on the dodges. Eighty-eight. Like obviously a lot of those could have failed and and passed the re-roll, but um, yeah, so pretty good on the dodges. I don't know. I didn't, I didn't think it was crazy. I didn't think it was crazy. Oh, it was crazy. Okay, my cars were crazy. The strength four one getting, but I think he got pom, didn't he? And then the it was one of the. Whites, yeah. Maybe, maybe I got lucky overall if I just sidestepped to the correct square. Um, yeah, yeah. Well, it is what it is, isn't it? So there you go. Thanks for watching, everybody. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.